Dr. Warren was recently in studio and he's got an important message for all of us. Good morning guys, this is Dr. Warren, the superintendent of the school district. I'm, I'm talking today, I'm talking with every one of our secondary students from sixth grade through 12th grade. You guys are watching this video of me. Number one is I hope you guys are having a great school year. Uh, you know, if you've seen me uh, walk around your school, I have, been, I have been walking around and I wanted you to know I am very proud, I'm very pleased with the effort I've seen all school year. We're having a great school year. If you look at the district in general, we're having a phenomenal school year and students, that's that's a large part of what you do every day. You're doing a phenomenal job and I love the work ethic that you're seeing. The main purpose of my message to you this morning is we're gonna talk about safety. Uh, you guys are old enough and I, I did a separate video for our elementary students because we speak to elementary students different than we do you. But for our sixth graders through 12th graders, you guys are old enough to understand the national, the state and the local conversations we're having about school safety. Um, our thoughts and prayers go out to the students and to the staff of the, of the high school in Florida. It was a horrible situation and I wanted you to know, understand, you, the schools that you are in are safe. The schools that you are in were safe the day before the Florida incident and the day after the Florida incident, we are safe here. And a lot of the safety depends again on you. You take care of business, your teachers, your principals, all the adults in, on, in your, in your uh, schools, they are there to provide safety. And I, would, I just wanna make sure you heard me say that. I am very pleased with, the, uh, with what we're doing every single day because that's the first thing that we do is to ensure safety. If there is some reason why you don't feel safe, you need to talk about it. And, and you need to hear me say that, you need to talk to somebody. You need to talk to your parents, you need to talk to your teachers, your principals, your counselors, your friends, doesn't matter. But for some reason, if there's issues in your life, make sure that we're talking about this because this is gonna be an ongoing conversation. Uh, there, there is always a way to get better. When you're talking about the safety of students, when you're talking about the safety of the adults in our buildings, there's always ways to get better and we're gonna continue to talk about that. But I wanted you to make sure that I'm going to listen to all the concerns that are out there. I'm gonna to listen to all the ideas that are out there. I've already started that process and there's gonna be a lot more opportunities to do that. But number one is, I'm very proud of the way you've been working. Number two is, you're safe in your schools and I need your help to make them even more safe because a lot of it has to do with you just taking care of business every day, like I said, and you've been doing that. So I'm very proud of you. Everybody have a great rest of the week. We're, we're about to be in spring break. Everybody have a wonderful and very safe spring break. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Warren, for coming in and speaking to us about such a serious topic. Texans, be sure to pay attention and stay safe. Remember, if you see something, say something. Texans, don't forget there is a hosting meeting in Ms. Schneeman's room today during Invest. Caps and gowns will be passed out tomorrow during all lunches in the lecture hall. You must pay your fines to receive your order. You can do so in the East Office with Ms. Kemp. If you have not ordered your gown, you can do so by going to www.drossoms.com. The Regia Tournament in this past weekend was a good one. Kira's in studio to update you on how it went. Good morning, Texans. This past Saturday, our guys would advance to state competition after picking up a win over Amarillo, winning 60-56. to Their next game is this Thursday at 8 o'clock against Alamo Heights. And if they win this game, they will advance and play again on Saturday. Also, the Texans golf teams competed in a tournament this weekend. The guys were led by junior captain Jonathan Hester as he placed second after two rounds in the low 80s. And the girls had two top 10 placers, sisters Madison and Ashley Davis, as Ashley picked up six and Madison picked up seventh. The girls would also get third place overall. Both of our soccer teams have games tomorrow. Our guys game is at 7.30 at home against Boswell. And the girls also have a game tomorrow against the Pioneers, but at the same time, but they will be away and Boswell's home turf. So if you can, go cheer on your Texans. That's all I have for you today. Remember, keep it real. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, Kira. Michaela, I am so excited to go to the game on Thursday night. Okay, honestly, me too. Cheer gets to leave on Wednesday, and me and the team are so excited to cheer the guys on for a well-deserved win. I couldn't agree more. Tune in tomorrow because your student council representatives are back in studio. Thanks for watching, Texans. This has been NHS TV Live.